Hi guys, this is Rara Coco. Quick update with regards to ticker symbol BBIG. So guys, I just got done uh, listening to uh, what you call it, a space call on a Twitter. Guys, if you want to know anything or everything about BBIG or Tide, you might want to follow Mr. Rick. Mr. Rick, CC. Uh, Miss Perrin, Tasha. So um, all of these people right here are very smart, very intelligent. They have so much to share. Okay, especially Mr. Rick. Mr. Rick is the is the host. Um, he say it like it is. He is trustworthy. He's honest. Um, he is a no BS guy. So I was just listening to him today and somehow, you know, you, you, you can tell when people are really smart and intelligent and you want to mimic that, right? And you want to emulate that and you want to, um, to, to really, when someone, you know, like me, I wanted to improve all the time. I wanted to get better. Um, this person right here um, did that. To me today um so please follow him um and the entire team here Teresa, also tasha and the entire team um you will learn a lot with regards to um taker symbol bbig every time there's a space call what i'm going to do is i'm going to post it on reddit i'm going to post it in and i will put the link i just learned how to put the link in there but I will do that for you guys so that you will get more information. As you notice, there is a lot of people are listening. And an investor that is better informed, then you are better to uh, make a decision, right? Of course, we are not a financial advisors. You are not a financial advisors. We could come up with our own um, decision. Uh, very simple. So, guys, this information right here that I noticed, this is Yahoo uh, Finance. Okay, Yahoo Finance. And just on an update, here's what I see on Yahoo Finance. Uh, Lisa King, still co-CEO. Philip Jones, Chief Financial Officer. Stephen DeGraw, COO. Um, John Robert Carlocci. In terms of co CEO director. Um, Mr. John Robert Carlucci, this is my own opinion only. I think that he remains on a, uh, what do you call it, um, um, suspension under further investigation. This is with regards to uh, him not being qualified as a, as a, uh, independent director or CEO, but most likely is he was placed as a um, independent director uh, without filing 8K. If they're going to do that or someone placed him there, you have to file an 8K and notify all of us that they did that. And what happened is no one did that. All of a sudden, he's just there. So that is a, 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 a concern. And the lawyer says, you know what, during this investigation, he needs to be, um, you know, suspended as a CEO. He needs to be suspended as a, a director. And an investigation is occurring right now. That's what's happening right now. It's being investigated. And if they found out that he's qualified or whatever, they can put him back in that position. But at this time, he is, I believe, in my own opinion only, I'm not a financial advisor, my opinion only to the best of my knowledge that he is probably suspended right now further investigation that's what happened when you are being investigated because you cannot be on the job and being investigated at the same time you need to be going home while the investigation is is still happening and mr theodore farnsworth is the kochi executive officer still Guys, this is, I'm going to slow it down a little bit on this one because we have a lot of new investors that are joining in with regards to BBIG. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is what you call an Ortex data. Is this 100% uh, accurate? No, it's not 100% accurate, but this is one of the information that's being utilized by 
a lot of the investors to educate yourself on what's going on with regards to your ticker symbol. All right. So first and foremost, we're going to start with a short interest. Actually, let's go ahead and start with this one first. Let's go ahead and start with the free flow. So at this time, BBIG has a shares outstanding of 233.14 million. That is what is allotted for, and that's what when they filed the SEC, they have 233.14 million right now, total shares outstanding, but only 75% of that, which is the free float shares, 176.95 million, is what is available in the market, in the exchange to be buy and sold, buy and sold, buy and sold. This is the total amount, shares on float, okay? Uh, the market capital at this time of BBIG is 177.19 million, and the average volume, which is on a daily volume, traded, bought, is 18.68 million shares. If you convert that to dollars, that is 36.36 .36 million US dollars. Okay. So let's see. This one right here is what you call This one right here is the live short interest, according to Ortex data. 37.16 million is what the short sellers borrowed from the stock that the free float. And they use this to short um, BBIG. So they borrowed this stock, 37.16 million. Um, and they are betting that the price of BBIG will go down. Okay, and at this time they have not returned this position, this thirty-seven point sixteen million uh, shares. If you convert that into percentage of the free float, it is twenty-one percent. All right, so that part is done. I'm gonna we're gonna come back on that a little bit more further. All right, so today was Friday. Today is Friday, and the borrowed change is negative eighteen point fifty six. Because here's what happened. According to the Ortex data, the, they borrowed 2.72 million, right? 2.72 million. And according to Ortex data, that they returned 2.84 million. So most likely during the Fridays, this number goes up. It's because they don't want to pay the Saturday and the Sunday, right? So borrowing, um, borrowing this much, they pay either the average of 19.5% or the maximum of 20.76% and the minimum is 12.51. So it's around this percentage. If just like, you know, us, we buy shares, right? When we buy shares, we don't pay any interest. But when the share sellers borrow shares, they pay interest. Okay. So this one is, 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 is very important information to be aware of, okay? Utilization is a few brokers that has a shares to be lent out to the short sellers. And this information indicates on a few brokers that they have utilized all of that shares. It's 100% being utilized right now, uh, being borrowed. But this doesn't necessarily mean that the short sellers cannot borrow from other brokers that is not on this information. This is just a few brokers that is available and all of them, they have borrowed 100% uh, percent of the shares, okay? And um, they can also borrow from the other person, from the other brokers. So this is the cost to borrow. Cost to borrow. So the shares on loan right now is 54.71 they are paying about 23.42%, okay? Now, this 37.16 million right here that was shorted, borrowed shorted by the short sellers, right? If they close this position, it will take three days. If they close that position, it will take three days. This numbers, by the way, is an indication that this stock has the potential 
to massively squeeze into a nuclear MOAS, all right? This stock has that potential. So there's two play for BBIG. The BBIG play is a short play and also long play. The shares on loan right now is 54.71 million, but what is shorted is 37.16 million. So they have still a few on reserve to utilize if they want to, to bring the price down of BBIG, if they want to, okay? The free float percentage is 30.92, 30.92. What does that mean, the free float on loan, okay? So this one right here, 54.71, right? If you convert that into percentage, that's what this is, 30.92%. And then the short interest percentage, okay, which is that one. If you convert that, that will be 21%. And that is that one, 21.04%. Now, if you convert this percentage into how many dollars how much is that in dollars that is 29.19 million dollars 29.19 million dollars and that's just a percentage on that area right so hopefully i was able to explain this information for all the new guys uh, all the new investors for bbig as you know we are accumulating right now with regards to bbig and pretty soon someday soon enough we will be celebrating okay so we did that. Now, this is Eric Finman. Eric Finman is a boy wonder, genius, multimillionaire um, person. He is now the CEO of Zash Global Media and Entertainment, right? Now, what can he bring to the company, right? What can he bring to the company? Well, he has massive experience with uh, crypto, uh, the coin, and he has also... Uh, been donating left and right to the politician. And somehow this gentleman here also owns this company, uh, the Freedom Phone. Looks like this is his phone. The Freedom Phone is 499. So he is a massive supporter of Donald Trump. And, and this Freedom Phone is what you call it, a, a not a spy phone. As you know, the iPhone, uh, any other phones, they can get all our information in there. Something about um, sending information to the iPhone company or the Apple company. This one, if you buy this 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 kind of phone, um, all your information are pretty much secured, and no one is sending information anyone or anywhere. It has that freedom, and. Looks like uh, during the space call, I noticed that this is mentioned and I heard that he owns this company or this hardware. Somewhere, somehow, there is a relationship between him and this uh, this hardware phones. Okay, so that's just a little bit of information that I would like to uh, share with you. So Eric Finman is appointed CEO of Zash and he has also joined this space call. I heard that he joined the space call and they asked him a lot of questions and they, he was able to provide much, 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 uh, a lot of information. So this gentleman here is open to the public, look like he's very approachable. Uh, he's a genius, he's, uh, he's young, but has a lot to offer, has a lot to offer for the company. So very, very, very bullish on this regard. Now, with regards to uh, our CEO, um, with regards to our CEO, Ted Parnsworth, right? What is bullish about Ted Parnsworth? What is so bullish? about this this man okay well first and foremost he's a co-ceo of of a bbig and he refuses to take salary 
why he refuses to take salary, where which he can if he wants to, but he refuses. It's because he believes in the product of uh, Lomotif and Adriser of what it can do. And I am the same way. I believe in that product. But him, he does not take any salary. And that is very bullish for BBIG because he knows that he can create value for the shareholders very soon. And the price of BBIG is what you call, um, create. he's creating that value. And he proved himself just by not taking any salary. Very, very bullish in my regards. That is the kind of CEO that I want. Is the one that does not take salary, but invested in the shares, invested in the growth of the company. And um, no matter what other people think about him, I, I believe in the video that he says, okay, he's being truthful. He's being honest there. Um, for me, I feel like this is his halasera with regards to his uh, Lomotif and Adriser business, right? This is the one that's going to, what you call it, either you make it or you break it. And I know Ted Farnsworth is going to make it on this regards because I will support him. Um, I'm going to keep buying the stocks. Um, I believe in him. Um, I believe in him. And I believe in the stock. I cannot be invested in the stock if I don't believe in the vision of the CEO. Is it, it is okay for me to disagree with someone that they think that Ted Farnsworth is, is whatever on the negative side. That's what they think of him. I think of him differently. I see things differently. I cannot agree with them. It's because people need second second chances, you know, and um, he is creating something, uh, uh, something big with this company. Um, the other one also, the information uh, on, on BBIG, if, if you believe in the product, if you believe in the company, if you believe in the CEO, which I am, I back it out. I walk the walk. I talk the talk. And that's why just this week alone, this week alone, I have purchased more than 20,000 shares of BBIG. Why did I do that? It's very simple. I want to average down. The price is so low right now. When it was $3, $10, $12, I purchased. Now that is 79 cents, why would I not purchase? So I back out my conviction, I back out the talk, whatever that is. I am convicted with BBIG. I believe in it. I'm accumulating right now uh, with BBIG. Plus, guys, nothing changed. They still have not closed this position. Actually, they increased their short position. Yeah, the price went down, but also the short interest went up and they haven't closed this position. W what's gonna happen to this? My name is Rara Koko. You'll be the judge. I present the presentation. I present the information. You come up with conclusion. May you have love, peace, prosperity, and good health be with you all. Thank you very much, and you have a great day.